Hey everybody, welcome to SandTube. Like always, I'm VJ. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to remove supports once they're created into Cura. So just like most sli slicing softwares out there, when you load a model, you enable supports, you put in the angle of anything more than 60 degrees or 50 degrees, you want the supports to print. But what if you need support some places but not all places? Now, what does that mean? Perfect example of how I came across this is I noticed um, I was printing a helmet, okay? Now normally with helmets, when you print them, you don't need supports in the middle because it's dome shaped. So as it prints, it puts layer by layer by layer on top, which is understandable. But I was YouTubing a lot of videos on Mandalorian helmets to see what was the exact color that people were paint, uh, painting and what paint should I get, things along those lines. But some of the videos that I came across I've noticed a lot of people when they were showing uh, the printing process not only were they printing supports here which is needed for uh, the visor part they were also printing supports in the middle so you had supports going up right here and I didn't understand why so maybe I assume people just didn't know how to remove the supports because I had to manually do it myself so today I'm going to talk about mainly for when you're printing helmets or the certain areas where you don't feel like you need support uh, because it's dome shaped or there's a certain type of shape where the supports won't really make a difference. Now, I will tell you one thing, uh, side note, when you're printing helmets and you don't use supports in the middle, you will get somewhat of quality like this uh, on the top part. But that's okay because normally uh, people that make helmets, they put little padding on top so that never gets in the way. But you can scrape that off super easy. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to show you how to remove supports and we're going to be using this helmet as a model. So once you have your model loaded into Cura, the first thing you're going to do is go to the top right, click on your settings or your profile and then make sure that you have support enabled. Once you have support enabled, you're clicking on there. Make sure you have your angle however you want it. I'm just going to put this in for now. And then just a quick side note guys, uh, the density of the support, the lower it is, the easier it is to remove. I usually keep mine between four and seven. Anyways, once that's done, go ahead and click on the slice button. It's gonna process everything and it's gonna go right through. And once that's done, you'll notice the time right there. Pay attention to that because you'll notice a big change once we remove the supports. So to give you a better view, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the preview button here. All right, so this is a better view for you guys. So the helmet's in red, the support is in blue or teal, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to give you a top view, remove some of the layers so you can see inside of the model itself. Now once I go down, you'll see that the blue right there, uh, that's actually the support that's printing in the middle and that is unnecessary, guys. So we're going to go back to regular view uh, and then from here I'm going to show you the helmet itself and everything in red that you see right there is going to be the support except for the bottom which is sticking to the bed of course so that's the part we need to get rid of so what you need to do there is go down to the bottom left the very last one once you click on it click on where you want to remove the support once you do that you'll notice there's a blue line around the helmet that goes away that means that your support blocker is selected then you're gonna go up uh, to the second icon and you're going to pick the X and Y and you're just going to mess with it. You're going to make it so it's big enough where the shaded area covers the support because that's what's going to remove it. Now, once you have like a decent size, what I would recommend that you do is you go down to where it says unscale, uniform, and uncheck that. And now this way you can manually adjust the size of the X, Y, and Z. And you can also use those little cursors right there, guys, to... Uh, expand it manually so what I'm doing right now is I'm going to use that cursor right there to expand it manually or you can enter the value like I said now once you get enough to where you can actually cover the supported area you can actually move this around it's kind of part of the model so you can move it left right up down whatever you want and once you have enough where it's covered I recommend that you go back to the original view uh, which is the front view like right here only reason is because it's only blocking the supports on top it's not blocking the supports at the bottom so what you need to do is go into the Z and make sure 
that your uniform or uniform scaling is unchecked and then just increase the number and then you see right here it gets really big and then you just slide it down and that's it that's all there is to it so any part that the gray area is covering uh, and if there's any supports in there it's going to go ahead and remove it automatically and that's all there is and you can mess around with it however you want every model is going to be different uh, if you look at it from the bottom you just make sure that the red is completely covered and you should be good to go all right so once everything is done what we're going to do is click on the slice uh, just to make sure we did it right now first thing you're going to notice is the days right there it went down by almost a whole day the amount of filament you're using went down as well so let's make sure we did it right let's go into preview again now it's going to load the layers once that's done let's go and take a look at the top view and see where the supports are bam done you did it right there's no more supports you're ready to go so just make sure you look around make sure everything's good to go and once it is that's it that's all there is to it guys uh, and this is how you remove the supports and just make sure you preview it before you may uh, make the final slice so there it is now before we finish up with this video guys just to let you know we do have the new sand tube pla filament that's available to sell uh, very competitive on prices actually one of the cheaper ones out there with good quality prints Everything that you see here was printed with this filament here. Um, if you want to support the channel, this actually does it. Everybody needs filament, so why not give it a shot and just try out a box. Now, with that said and put to the side, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know down below in the comment section. And I get back to every single one of you guys, or I try my very best. Uh, with that said, guys, like always, good luck and happy printing.